Let's look at batch emails in Follow Boss. So a batch email is essentially an email blast. You're sending to multiple people at the same time. Um, it's essentially a feature that's natively built into Follow Boss. So pretty much all users have this. Um, there is an option for you if you're the account owner under Power Ops to disable batch email. Uh, so if you don't want your agents to send batch emails across the board, you can turn this power up on, but it is off by default. So to send a batch email, uh, it's pretty simple. You just select your criteria for who you want to send it to. It could be a smart list. You could filter down here manually uh, if it's a certain tag. Pretty easy to do, but you just want to find the criteria of who you want to send to. So in this case, I'll stick with this list. I'm going to select everybody in this list. I've got this batch email button up here. So once I hit this, it's gonna pull these contacts. You can see them up here. There's a box to include all email addresses. So if you're using relationships or you have multiple email addresses for people, this would send to all of those email addresses in their contact record. And this does send separate emails. So it's not a BCC type situation. It's not a CC situation. No one else can see. It feels like an individual email to the recipient, but uh, you are sending it out in bulk. But no worries about reply alls or people seeing other people's email addresses. That's not a problem. So again, we've already selected the people here. Do that. We decide if we wanna include all email addresses for every contact. We do have a cool option here to send from. Now the default's gonna be the logged in user. So if you're logged in as you or logged in as somebody else, this from is gonna be from whatever account you're logged into. Um, it's also gonna add the email signature of the logged in user. Now there's another option here and that is to send from the assigned agent. So if you're sending to leads assigned to multiple agents, this can be a good option. And each recipient is gonna get an email from specifically their assigned agent in Follow Boss. And if they reply, the reply will go back to that same assigned agent. So important differentiation there. Um, one quick note about assigned agent, we'll get into this in a minute, but you wanna probably use more merge codes here because the agent's name, you don't wanna write your name into this email because they're gonna have the other agent's signature uh, underneath that. So um, another cool thing is you can use email templates. So if you've got something already built that you wanna use, you can pop that right in. You can still edit it here before you send it. Um, you can edit the subject. You can use merge fields in the subject, which can be pretty handy. So you could say, you know, I have an opening, Bob, and then this email, same thing, would pull in, hey, Bob, you know, I had a last minute cancellation. Do you like to take a look? And again, this merge code signing the agent's name is the great way to go if you're doing a signed agent because it's going to automatically pull in their agent's name here and then have their agent's signature. Um, a couple of formatting things you could do, nothing super fancy, but do some bullets. You can insert a video from a URL. You could add emojis. Uh, you can insert images or insert links. Um, but again, you've got merge fields here. So if there's any of these things you wanna be able to use in this email, it's gonna append this particular user's data to that merge field. So a really, again, a great way to personalize an email in kind of a global scalable type of way. So I've got that, I picked my people. I don't wanna include all email addresses. In this case, I'm gonna send from assigned agent. Um, and then I've used some merge codes here. So when you're done with this, you're basically now just gonna hit uh, preview and this is gonna push you forward into a screen where you'll actually be able to see, and the cool thing is you can toggle between each user. These users were all assigned to me, so they're all gonna get the signature, but if they were assigned to others, um, they would have the different signature down here and you can also see that they're it's pulling in um it's actually showing you those merge fields working so it's showing you the data that will be in there uh, you probably don't need to preview every single one but helpful to kind of click through and just go oh okay this says what i want it to say ready set go once that's ready well you can go back and edit if you have changes it'll keep all your criteria but you can edit 
you can send the email straight away. A feature I really love is you can also schedule it. So if you hit schedule, you can actually pick a date and time for this to go out. So you can schedule it in advance um, or anything to that effect. So um, we've got that down. We can pick our time and date to send it. One of the other great things about these batch emails, uh, for one, if you schedule it, you can go to reporting batch emails to find it. Even if it hasn't sent yet, it'll be here and there's an option to cancel or edit it. So if you scheduled it and you need to not unschedule it, you can do that. One of the best things about batch emails um, is that it's got great reporting across here once you've sent one. And it actually gives you little blue links to people that opened the email, people that clicked the email, people that unsubscribed, uh, or people that engaged, which is typically a reply. The cool thing about that, you can drill down. And so let's say you sent a batch email to a thousand people with a property in it and 10 people clicked on it. You can go to reporting batch emails. You'll see that email. You can click on those 10 people that clicked on the link. And now you can either follow up with them by phone, send them a secondary email, but it's a really great way to whittle things down. One last thing I wanna mention really quick. I think it's super important in this day and age to send a relevant message to a small segment of people. I'm not a big fan of just blasting our whole database. Uh, really important here to segment down, send useful information. All these things affect your sendability, deliverability, uh, an email reputation score. So, but such a powerful way to drill down, hit a certain tag, a certain source, a certain set of leads with a really hyper relevant message um, is a great thing to do. And again, if you're running a team or a brokerage, you might set some best practices around this. Um, you know, please don't email everyone always. Please don't go into a pond and send a batch email to everybody. You have a policy a bit around what you want people to do. Um, at this time, there are natively 10,000 sends per day per user. So you can send a fairly large amount, but again, segmenting those down in, into smaller batches is gonna be a lot more powerful and help keep your list um, really clean. But um, again, have a good policy around, you know, we let our agents do this or we let them do it, but only to 50 at a time or whatever that is. But batch emails, really powerful feature, um, drilling into key segments and sending relevant information uh, to multiple people at a time.